hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm gonna show you guys how it is i transform my wet and wavy lace front wig to a super bum ass new wet and wavy wig <laughs> okay so as you can see here right now i'm just preparing the lukewarm water i like to soak my wig first so i'm gonna soak it and I'm using my washroom sink. Yes, guys, my washroom sink. So we're just gonna prepare that water. We're gonna ensure that we get a lukewarm water in there. So we're just gonna let that fill up. And I, one thing with me is that the reason why I really like to to soak my wig is because I find it makes it more easier for when it is we're actually doing the boiling method process to to get that boiling method to, of the wig to come on better. So I don't know why I was like doing that, but anyway, I was doing something with my hand. Like, what the hell? Why am I doing with that with my hand? <laughs> yes. So we're going to let that soak. Um, after preparing the lukewarm water, what I did is, like, I try to, like, comb out the wig just a little bit. I didn't comb out, like, everything. But I, I try to comb out some of it. So if you see, if you look at me, you can see me just, like, trying to comb it right now. Yes, yes, yes. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> so, she's still combing. I'm still combing through that wet and wavy wig. I can't wait till you guys see how this turned out to be. I like using my washroom sink because I find it's more sanitary um so I'm just putting my wig into my washroom sink yes I cleaned my washroom sink because you know you brush your teeth you you do a whole lot of stuff in your washroom sink okay if you don't know you know today <laughs> and I just I'm just soaking it there right now and it's going to be there for about 15 minutes. I think I left it for approximately 15 minutes. So this is why I would suggest to leave it for 15 minutes. Although it doesn't really matter. Just you don't want to soak it that much because it's still going to get in water after. So you soak. What I done, I soaked the back. I soaked the front. Or you can soak the front and the back. It doesn't really matter. So I soak it through and... We're just like beating it down in the water so that way it can, you know, be able to be in there. So after the 15 minutes of the soak, you can tell this hair is like really good quality hair because after I soak the wig, it came out so good. So then this is where we entered the kitchen. So I just took a pot and you see what I'm using today. It would be the silicone mix, bamboo silicone mix. It's really cheap. I find silicone is actually a really awesome brand. So I just use this instead of like Tresemme, like everything that people use it. <laughs> so I took a spoon and I put it in some water and you want to put how much you want to put. I'm not going to tell you to put like three, four, five, six. No, I'm not going to tell you that. You're going to put how much you think is good for your wig. If you know you have a big, dirty ass wig, you will put that. Okay? If it is you know you have a small head, <laughs> which I don't have a small head. I don't have a small head. I wish I had a small head. Anyway, if you think you have a small head and your wig is small, you can definitely just, yeah, put a little bit. 
So you bring it to the stove and um, I just try to like beat it up a little bit. I don't know why I was like touching it like that. I guess it's fun to see something boil, I guess. I don't know. Next, we're just going to try to get our alcohol ready, our spray bottle, and a comb. I have a free comb from Sephora, Living Proof, and I love Living Proof. Um, so I have that here. So the water is finally boiling. Just giving you guys a view of how it looks in the pot. Yep, and, and for me, it's all about sanitation, so I just rather use a plastic bowl to put my wig in than the cooking pot. So right now, we're going to make sure that the wig is soaked. We're going to soak it at the front, at the back, you'll see me trying to switch it. And um, right now I believe I'm looking for a plastic fork as well. So I can easily just get rid of that to just push down the wig into the hot water mixture. So we're just going to make sure each and every strand of here is covered. So we're going to leave that to soak for 25 minutes. Keep it in mind, you have to switch sides. Um, so I left it, and I think I didn't record that part, but I actually left it for 25 minutes, but I came back after 15, and I just, like, turned it again. <laughs> because I wanted to make sure... Isn't this awesome? Just imagine you're cooking with this. <laughs> Seems like I'm cooking a pot. So you just want to get everything in that hot, boiled mixture of water. Okay, so I think now we're going to leave it for 25 minutes and then come back. Okay guys, so after 25 minutes, um, the next step will be to comb the wig. So, this about this time, well after 25 minutes, the hot water is no longer hot. It's probably warm right now. So I'm going to take out the wig and I'm just going to comb it through until it's not really that tangled anymore. By now the wig is not supposed to be tangled but I'm just going to comb it through just in case there's any dirt still in there just in case. We want to comb, make sure we try to get some hair, some nuts. If there's nuts in your way, you just want to comb it through back. Okay, you see that there? It looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. we're just going to comb the wings through. Mm -hmm. This is the thing about ways you gotta make sure you get the back as well.
So at this point, we're just gonna wash the wig, the most exciting part. Let's see how it goes. Let me show you how the thing go. Oh, 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 oh.